Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video. So today, second video of the day, so hopefully you guys all enjoyed that. This will be uploaded probably within 24 hours of the previous episode, so that would be pretty cool. I'll probably, this one's probably going to be like 12 hours later than the previous one. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but yeah, um, second episode for today. So what we're going to be doing is... We're going to be combining every single moon in the solar system and seeing if it would actually make a planet or not. So basically, would it be larger than this planet called Kepler... Because it's the smallest exoplanet, I believe. Oh, I saved a screenshot. Whoops. So the smallest planet is called Kepler 37b. So if you want a quick um, look at it. So I pretty much use um, Pluto's uh, moon for the template of this object. But if you want a quick look. So I did all the research and stuff. And the smallest planet or exoplanet is this large so bigger than Pluto but smaller than Mercury so if all the moons in the solar system can combine to make an object larger than this it will be a planet but if you didn't know already Ganymede and all of those other moons are already larger than Mercury anyway so yeah that's that but yeah we're gonna see how large we can get a planet um, out if we combine all the moons hopefully we can make it larger than Mars that'd be interesting but anyways let's go and do this so we want to open a simulation, which is um, yes, sim um, it a solar system one, and all planets and all moons. Where is it? Yeah, here we go. So we want to pause that. Then we want to delete the sun, delete Mercury, delete Venus, delete the Earth, delete Mars. We want to delete Saturn as well. We also want to delete Jupiter. We'll do Uranus as well, and then Neptune. And we'll add um, Pluto and its moons in as well, because they do count as moons. So. They probably won't make too much difference, but it yeah, will add them in out here. And then delete Pluto, so there we go. Oh, my voice is a little um, little messed up, but yeah, there we are. So, now we want to put them all into radius size like this. We've got every single moon in the solar system right here lined up. So there's tons and tons of them, most of them are little rocks. But all these objects here, we're going to see how large these objects will make when they all combine. So Ganymede will be our template for this, since it is the largest. But what we're going to want to do is we want to slow down time like this to make it only seconds and we want to press radius and then press this button called make live so now all of the objects have been moved from their previous locations and all pulled into this area here and then what we're going to want to do is I'm going to quickly go into powers and clear all trails like that and then we're going to want to press play so now all of the moons are going to crash together and we also want to keep pressing halt all velocities we don't want any objects to get in too far away from each other so I'm going to keep pressing that so they pull each other towards each other so then we're going to get every single fragment, hopefully, to collide with each other. So it looks like Titan and Ganymede are going at it there. Callisto and Io, the moon in Europa, got Triton there. And this little moon's trying to escape, but he's not going to wait for too long. So let's keep going. So Ganymede and Titan are colliding there. Oh, there's going to be a triple collision here. So look at that. Wow, that's cool. So Callisto just beat up all those other moons. Let's press halt all velocities again. And everything's eventually going to get pulled into good old Ganymede here. So... There we go, so Ganymede's getting larger in size as you can see right here, so that's pretty interesting. Alright, so let's speed this up even more, and as you can see, all of the other moons in the solar system, every single other moon in the solar system is about to get pulled into Ganymede, so we've got Dione there, moon of Saturn, and we've just got tons and tons of these little asteroid moons, they all still count as moons, so they've all got to be um, put into this giant Ganymede, so here we are, so this is our last moon now. So there we go, the last ever moon, and now every single moon in the solar system so every single moon in the solar system is now combined into Ganymede so now if we let time advance its radius will eventually stop so there we go, so there we are that is what its radius is so if you want to compare it to the original Ganymede now it has increased by let's have a look So, wow, that's a massive difference look at that, so if you combine all the moons is that larger than Mars? oh it is so if you combine all the moons in the solar system according to Universe Sandbox, you will get an object bigger than Mars. That's pretty interesting. I'm actually going to save that, so I'm just going to call it um, All Moons. I, I don't know. That's pretty much what it is, so... Yeah, there we go. It's, um, oh yeah, I like that. Perfect. So there we go. Then I'll quickly save that, because if you guys want me to do... Um, so it should be right here. So if, um, if you guys want me to do an episode on this planet, maybe I could like combine it with other planets or something like that. So there it is right there. So if you guys um, want me to do an episode on like um, anything with this object, like should I combine it with like other um, planets and something like that, like how do you want me to do it? Like, because it'd be pretty interesting to see, because this is quite large. Like, we can also warm it up to give it some oceans maybe. Yeah, there we are, looking, looking pretty there, I guess. So yeah, there we go. So 
I think that'll do it for this episode, guys. That's pretty much all I wanted to do for this um, short episode, because, yeah, short but sweet, I guess. So, yeah, there we go. So that is how large it would be if you combined all the moons. So all this water is pretty much from Europa there. So 1 point, yeah, 1.15 times um, or of this entire object is water. So that's quite a lot compared to Earth. Yeah, so this has a ton of water on it. Pretty, pretty amazing stuff there. But anyways, yeah, like I said, that'll do it for this video. So hopefully you guys all enjoyed this um, short episode than usual. And if you haven't already, press that subscribe button to um, join us on the road to 500. Well, it's your choice. I'm not forcing you, I guess. But yeah, there we are. So yeah, join us on the journey to 500 because it's much appreciated. And, yeah, if you've got any ideas for another video, leave a comment down below. And if it's a good idea or, or anything that isn't that silly, because I won't do any silly ideas or stuff I've done before because, yeah who would but yeah so that is that for this video guys so make sure you have a good day and i'll see you in the next video goodbye